Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine E-Bikes, and today we're going to be doing a video on looking inside your controller. The controller is one of those really important parts of your e-bike, but oftentimes not very well understood, so we're actually going to delve right into it. I'm going to read you a letter from one of our, uh, from one of our viewers who asked me a question. He was getting an error code number 8, and he said, when I twist the throttle, the error code goes away. Do you know what number 8 means? And I told him that if there's a throttle problem, but it goes away, then it's a loose connection and he should go tighten it in his controller. It turns out that the wire coloring scheme of the controller is slightly different for the two brake lever switches that cut the motor when you brake. The brake levers had red, black, but at the controller they plug in yellow, black. Not sure, but it's all good. Now I have a red, black plug from the controller and the spare, and from the LCD there's a main plug that has maybe seven wires and that's all good. So I told him uh, the two, there's two wires that he couldn't find out what they would belong to, and I said, if they're gray, they're most likely your speed governor, which is mandatory for manufacturers to include that, so you can do a cutoff speed at either 15 miles per hour, 25 miles per hour, or whatever it may be. Anyway, he solved his problem, but it, it all goes back to the controller. So um, we're going to look inside the controller. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to look inside your controller. Think of your controller as an onboard computer that controls all aspects of your e-bike. Inside the controller is a circuit board that through sensors and firmware manages voltage and ampage input and output and controls all of the critical functions of your e-bike. The first thing your controller looks for is its power source. That comes from your battery. It calculates your battery's voltage and amps, and if compatible, distributes that power to the controller's various functions, such as the motor. It determines what are the power requirements for the motor, and determines at what intervals to distribute that power. It takes input from the throttle to determine how much power output needs to be generated. Twisting the throttle varies the strength and polarity of the magnetic field adjacent to the sensor, which sends a corresponding voltage of between 0.8 volts and 4.5 volts to be sent to the controller. It also reads information from the brakes. When the brakes are applied, a sensor cuts the motor, reducing your forward momentum for a smoother stop. The controller also controls additional functions such as pedal assist, cruise control, lights, the onboard LCD, maximum speed, wheel size, minimum and maximum ampage, voltage cutoff, and much, much more. Some controllers are built into the frame of the bike, some controllers are controlled by iPhones, and some controllers are external and controlled by wired LCD inputs. Whatever kind of controller you have, the functions give or take a few bells and whistles control the most important functions of your e-bike. I hope this video was helpful, and if you liked it, click subscribe down below.